everybody, this is Christine with Coco Daisy, and I am excited to share with you my setup for June using one of my absolute favorite, favorite collections called Wander. It is our June collection, and it is all about adventure and travel and any sort of, so it's not far away travel, it's not overseas necessarily. This can be hiking, camping, whatever kind of travel you like to do. Or if you don't get the chance to travel much, it's just beautiful artwork to sit and think about travel and think about places you've been or where you dream to go to. So I'm going to show you what I've set up in my planner. I've got some ideas on what I'm going to do with, we had a special edition travel kit. Uh, that goes along with this that you can purchase. We still have a handful of these in the store. Um, and I've, I've got some fun ideas when I'm done showing you my regular planner. I'm going to show you a few of the things that I'm going to do with um, the special stuff that we had this month um, with that. So I will go through that as well. So let's get started. This is my Vanderspec, and I thought it was absolutely perfect especially considering it matches the pen this month. So it's got this great kind of alligator print. Um, Vanderspeck is wonderful because they are custom. And then the only ones that I know of that I can get 35 millimeter rings, which is, I like my planners chunky. And so those work the best for me and they are beautifully, beautifully made. If you are going to order one, uh, make sure you leave a lot of time before you need it because it, it they are all handmade um, to your specifications. So it takes her quite a while to get them made. So, all right, pockets. So uh, kind of my normal setup here, this fun little pineapple pen is just one from my stash that um, when we have a summer theme or a travel theme, I just like to pull that out because it's a fun pen to use. Uh, one of the large... Um, oversized tags, and that is from the Classified Memory Keeping. So just as a side note, I should, at the time of this recording, I should let you know what we have in stock. We have um, a few main planner kits, and then there's some miscellaneous stuff in there as well. There might be a couple Classified Memory Keeping available, and I know we have some paper packs left. Um, there is a few of the stamp sets of the larger alpha. Um, and then, like I said, there's some sticker kits. There's a few miscellaneous things. There's not a lot of the actual kits left aside from the, um, the main planner kit. So you can grab that. Uh, I've got my little notepad here couple uh, bow. This one's from my stash, this little Hello Summer button. That is from my stash as well. And our little Simon with the camera. I do not remember what he, what kit he was in, um, but I pulled him out, put him in there. And this one is from the classified planner, the little buttons. I got that on there. And then uh, just a few of the die cuts scattered in there as well. I got my handy washi cutter. This is new, and we um, we just debuted this. This was in the planner add-on, and super fun. I love this. I love the way it feels. You could um, put a jump ring on this and add your washi tape to it. You could actually use it as a key fob if you wanted to, but this see-through one is different because there's a little bit of confusion than the actual key fob one that is in the travel kit. That's different. This is actually intended to be a washi cutter. And if you look on the in the reels on the uh, Coco Daisy Instagram page, you will see how to use that. Super simple, you just use the straight edge and it's really neat. It just cuts it nice and clean. So the front cover, which is absolutely one of my favorite pieces of artwork in this whole uh, collection. I love how this turned out, which is actually why we ended up doing the, um, the stamp set, because I loved that so much. I just added a few little glitter dots to there, front and back, just a couple of them. 
And the, um, and I, I don't want to, I can actually look. I'm gonna, I think this overlay, let me look, is, it is, is part of the um, travel kit. So that, I just want to refresh my memory. So the overlay is from the travel kit and then the striped pages. Now I did this kind of layout last month and I really liked how it turned out. So I stamped the the month. I, well, photos, I should I should start. Photos, I ran, I ran these through my printer and just added the word photos on there. I do that every month because when I do my memory keeping in my daisy planner, I like to record every photo. I take a photo a day and I like to record the photograph that I take, anything else that I wanna include. Then when I get behind, as usually happens, and I have time to sit down and work on the month in my daisy planner, I can take this whole section with me and pull up the photos, remember what I needed to write about, it's super simple and I can get it done. Um, but because this little cluster that I usually create here in the middle kind of takes up some room, I've added one of the label stickers that is from the classified memory keeping kit. I love those, they're versatile, they work with layouts, they work in planning, just such a great staple to have. And so I've started putting that on there just to kind of give me a little bit extra space so I can still be decorative, but then I can add that as well. I did a little bit of stamping. Uh, this one is from, let me double check. So I made a couple of awesome stamp sets. That is from the travel stamp set. So the travel kit, actually I'll show you that one here as well, has this stamp set. So you'll see a few times that I use some stuff from there. So the little airplane on there some stickers for the dates. The little palm tree is from the stamp set from the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. The June, I should mention, the June is from a past um, stamp set. So I just pulled that out. And then the little other one there. So I just kind of did this fun little cluster in the middle. I didn't want to take away from this or from all of the beautiful um, uh, passport stamps that were down the side there. I did one little rub on. So each one I did a little bit different. And then that one I stamped over it. And then again with the oversized tags and I use this for my little meal planner, my little cheat sheet. I added one of the camera die cuts on there. I thought that was really cute. And then this overlay, this beautiful blue, was from the classified planner. And then I do my menu planning for each week on this page. So I do menu plan sticker and then I do the days of the week sticker. So that tells me what the menu is for the week. And then we go into the week um, um, two page spread for the week. And then this, I don't do a whole lot of decoration on here. I'll add some as I use it. Um, but to start with, I'll just add a few little things. And what I really wanted to do, uh, because I, I take one of each of the sticker sets just to kind of use them. And, and I always like to try and use as much of the product to get a feel for it as I can. And so I have a lot of stickers. <laughs> And I wanted to try and primarily use just stickers on these pages and see um, what I could do with them. Normally I do a lot of stamping and stuff like that, but this time I wanted to just kind of focus on the stickers. And I love how it turned out. So I did the little scooter there. I did do a little bit of stamping on the tabs. These little um, mini tabs are from the planner add-on die cut set. And remember they are stickers. Some more menu planning. I added some of the little leather letter stickers, layered some more of the stickers, just kind of had fun with it. And then these I did, I cut uh, these in half because I didn't want to take up too much room in each section. I just did the upper half here and the lower half here. I thought that was cute. Some more of um, these stickers or the alpha stickers on there. And honestly, I, I wanted to mention, so as you can see, <laughs> this is the way 
my month is stacking up. So we have shipping this week. Um, I have a wedding to go to. We have Father's Day. And then Zach's open house. And then we go into July, which is even more busy. So I'm going to forewarn you. I may not do a setup for, um, for July. It just, it may not happen. Um, and that's okay. I'm okay with that. <laughs> um, I'm sad because it's a adorable collection and I would love to take the time to spend and use it. I'll probably use it. Um, I will for sure use it when I am in my daisy planner and stuff like that. But I, this takes me quite a bit of time to set up because I do like to try and come up with other ideas for you guys and use things a little differently. And uh, yeah, my weekends are racked and stacked. So, and then we're going away part of July, we're going away part of August. So I may end up having to use that time just to try and get August set up. I don't know, we'll see, I'll try, but I'm just forewarning you. <laughs> I did wanna point out, let me go back here a minute because I didn't point this out. These are really, really fun. And let me find them because I wanted to show these to you. If I can find them here. Oh, here we go. So these stickers, if you got these, there were some in the main planner and there were some in the classified planner as well. They're different, but they're so fun for layering. So what I did is I, I put them down. You could layer them over because they are transparent. They are vellum. You could layer them under your date. You can layer them over, but they just create, you know, when you go through our artwork, we use watercolor or um, kind of swooshes of patterns all the time. And this gives you that effect. So you can layer these with other stickers so well. And I love how that turned out. So I wanted to show that to you. So you can do that here. I've done it again. I did it over one. And then um, here again, this one I layered it over the date, but then I took some of the um, day of the week stickers and then put it over top. So you can see here, I left the day of the week as is, but on here then I used um, the stickers. But I wanted to make sure and show you how fun these are to layer under other stickers or label stickers or just really anything that you wanna um, layer with them They're, or highlight. Um, if you use a really light one and you have a dark marker and you write something on a date, you could even lay that over top of that. If you use a stays on ink, you could stamp on these as well. So I, I really think that those are a lot of fun. And the bookmark that is in the main planner kit, uh, you can use this, I wanted to show you, you could use this as um, a washi tape card. So you can just wrap a bunch of washi tape around it and then you don't have the big ring to try and find a home for in your planner. If you're trying to minimize um, what you have to carry around, then you can just wrap it around there and that's what I did here. And then also you can use it as a bookmark. So we have that. Yeah, I thought this summer was gonna be a little more laid back. I am so wrong. <laughs> So again, some more of the stickers. I had fun just using the stickers in here and really kind of finding different ways to use them. So I did that. And then this overlay or this piece of vellum is from the Classified Planner. And then this tag, it looks like a tag. I made it look like a tag. It was a um, Traveler's Notebook memory keeping card. So what I did is I punched out the little notches and then I cut the corners to make it look more like a tag. I added a couple stickers, a little bit of stamping. I used um, the date stamp, which we have in the store, just to kind of add a little something to there. And then on this side, I used one of the printables and uh, just kind of video content I would like to do. Don't, I can't guarantee I'm gonna get to it, <laughs> but I'd like to do. I did a little bit of stamping on here and that is with the, let's see, that is using this one and the travel one has the compass, which is one of my favorites. And then uh, one of the rub-ons from one of the rub-on sheets and a few little glitter dots. So that turned out cute. 
I just tucked in a little pocket card here. I don't know yet what this will be. This is probably going to end up being my list for uh, stuff I need to do for Zach's open house is what I'm guessing is gonna happen there. This and this are from the printable. And then for this, I had a lot of fun with this one. I took um, some of the rub-ons, I did some stamping, some of the die cuts, and some of the stickers. Of all of the fun tags and passport stamps, and I just grouped them all along the bottom and layered them. There's a few on some foam adhesive, I used a couple of the palm tree die cuts or uh, stickers here and a die cut there. Um, this little saying is from last July, so I saved that. So that's from my stash. And then again, that's from the printable. Um, some more stamping. This is a rub on. This is a little bit of a rub on here. And then um, this is a stamp from the Traveler's uh, Notebook stamp set and just a couple little stickers and that's it but i love how that turned out i love having this along the bottom i think that looks really really cute a few little glitter dots here and there and then this i thought was really fun that is from the printable as well so you can see here i've got a couple of them just cut those out and put that on and my little uh, pocket the, and the, we have one of these in the uh, July main planner. So this one's from my stash and I just tucked a few things in. Um, these are from the current month. This is from last July. So I just tucked that in there and I will put some, um, I usually like to take these sheets from the classic vertical insert because they're so great for long lists and notes. So I'll, I'll tear these apart because they're perforated and cut them down a little bit if I want. Leave them long, I don't know. But I like to take these and then tuck them in here and then I have them for longer lists if I need to make longer lists. Because what I do, I kind of use this in a couple different ways. I will take this sheet and use it in my daisy planner to cover up the June tab. And then um, I don't necessarily use the calendar or I may use the notes page and I use these pages. So I just kind of take it apart and use the pages as I want to, which is a, a fun way to use any of the inserts, really. And you should never feel obligated to use all of it if it doesn't fit your needs. Uh, one of the dashboards, and I just took a couple of the cute little um, die cuts that look like those little room keys and put some string on them and attached them there. And that has my monthly to do. And I, again, I used this stamp set from the Modern Memory Keeping Kit to stamp that there. Added a little bit of other stamping, some rub-ons. And then this with the gold foil on it is from the travel kit. And I liked the back of it. I, this was kind of a happy little accent. I was trying to figure out which way I wanted to lay this. And I like the gold over top of it but I also like how the back almost looks silver in a way when you look at it from the back. And I liked how that looked over top of this. So it's just, I like, I like layers and I like layering things and I thought that turned out cute. So another one of the dashboards. And when you go to your daily pages, this is um, from the, printables and I loved this postcard so usually so originally I had made my little tag which is what I do every month and I just put that in there sometimes I'll put the um, extra sticky notes on here if I want to or something like this set this is actually the set from the travel kit you know if I wanted to I could put those on there and have them handy but then I printed out the printables and I was like, oh, I love that. It's like you just have this little postcard tucked in your planner. And the clips were from the classified planner as well as the traveler's notebook. So I just took one of the black clips and just kind of clipped that on there. And I thought that was really, really just kind of a cute little layer and a fun way to, to add that in there. Uh, this card, I think, think is also one of the dashboards. It's the personal size. So when you get the dashboards, you get both sizes. 
and um, I use both in here. So I just used that as the backer. I did a little stamping on there, added a small tab, and some other things that I need to remember. The Puffy Alphas are from the uh, Memory Keeping Kit, and then one of the die cut stickers, the little journal there. And then I made a little pocket, and I used the little long weekend. I put that with some uh, foam adhesive. I used the Sunshine and Fresh Air stamp. Put that on there. And then the cute little embroidery sun hat is from a past kit. I pulled that out of my stash as well as another one of the, um, the cute little quote sayings. This is kind of my go-to thing. I like doing that lately on the pockets, I guess. When you, when you do something and you like it, just, you know, you need to stick to it, right? And then, so this, I will tuck in my stickers and put those in there. And then um, this, I'm thinking, I haven't decided yet. So this sticky notepad is from the Classified Planner and I like having both sizes. So I'm thinking I may put this on here. I haven't decided yet. I kind of like it on there. So that may be where that goes. I'm not, I have to stick it down the, the, um, the one piece a little bit with some adhesive, but I'm thinking that's what I want to do. And then this one is the one that comes in the main planner. What I really like about this is um, you can use it for a to-do list for whatever you want to use it for. Uh, but I also love the fact that you could use this for journaling in your, so if you're going, if you are using the, um, if you did get the travel kit and you got one of our awesome travel booklets, then when you get to like the daily pages of your vacation, right, you could use this as a cute little layering thing for journaling. So if you have a photograph on here, you could put this next to it. You could put the date in there or a little title or something and then use it for journaling. So I thought that would be really cute that way too. So that's why I'm a little torn about like, I may use this a little bit more so that I don't use up all of these because I may want to use these in here. <laughs> so anyway, but this is just a couple of those larger tags again. There's a few little glitter dots on here. And then I've got, um, I've got those sticky notes there. And then my daily pages. Now, if you do your daily pages, they're meant to be a two page spread. So you will have um, this side you can use for just about anything. Uh, you can do gratitude, you could do devotions, you could do I use it just for random notes, what, whatever I suddenly have to write down that I don't want to forget because this page is usually full of all of my to-do list stuff. So over here is just kind of this nice space to write down whatever I need to write down that day or you know, you're on a phone call or a Zoom call or something and you want to take some notes, that's a great way to use this page. You could also, because of the grid, break this down hourly. It works really well for that. And um, also remember that this page doesn't, I stamped these headers. This stage comes on, there, there's nothing written on it aside from daily. So you can cut this down the middle and make two sections. You could do a lot of different things with this to customize it for your needs. But it is meant to be a two page spread for your daily. So you have plenty of room to um, map out your day however you want to. I just happen to have a bunch of stuff <laughs> in between mine, which is fine. That's just, that works for me, right? Whatever works for you. And another dashboard. And I just added um, some pattern paper on the back and the note card. The, the um, pocket cards or note cards are from the uh, Modern Memory Keeping Kit. The personal size, like I said, you get both sets, the A5 and the personal. So I just use that as a subdivider. And then again, some pattern paper and another little note card. And the tabs come in the main planner kit as well. 
So really you could set up, if you got the main planner kit with an insert or without, depending on what you, you use, you'd have everything you need to, to set up your planner. Um, these extra bits are, you know, just extra bits, but the necessities are all there. And again, some pattern paper and a little note card just held on with that. This pretty little thing is something I've had in my stash a long time. Oh, and I should mention the cute little camera clip. I think this was in the, um, the planner add-on and it's got the little jewel, it's really, really cute. And then our pen for the month is this great faux alligator print with the, um, the brown crystals and then the gold hardware. And then this elastic band came in the main planner and you can use it um, if you have like a TN cover, you can use it on here, you can use it the other way. You could use it um, on any sort of journal or book, booklet, journal, journaling book, um, planner that you have, it's big enough, it will stretch. Um, I'm using it here to hold my, so that little tab is meant to hold a pen. So I have it here holding my highlighter. So that's what that's intended for. So just as an FYI, I know sometimes people who are new, they're not used to what all of the stuff is and there's so much fun stuff. Like our pouch, and the pouch is a separate subscription. And this month we did two different things. So it's always a good time for a vacation, Coco Daisy Getaways, which again, I that would be awesome. Designed with love, plan with care. And then the other side has um, the passport stamps on it. So that is a separate subscription that you can get. But in the main planner, so the main planner kit, like I said, it had this band as well. And it also had this cute little pen pouch is in the main planner. And this I have my extra highlighters in. I have this cute little map pen from one of our previous collections. I thought that went cute. And then I've got, I picked out my highlighter colors for uh, this month as well. So that cute little pen case, super handy, uh, is part of the main planner as well. So you can get that with that. Okay, so I wanted to talk a minute about what I'm gonna do in here. So if you were lucky enough to grab one of the travel kits, and as I said, there's just a couple left. There's like really just a handful. So if you are on the fence about this, grab it. We are completely sold out of the booklets, but if you get the travel kit, you will get a booklet in the travel kit, okay? So, and of course the awesome stamp set. If we do have plenty of the covers left, I ordered a bunch of those, so those are just in the store. You don't have to worry about those running out. Um, so we have a bunch of those. So the cover, so if you wanted to, you could always get the travel kit and the cover, so on and so forth. There's stickers as well. But what I want to do, I'm going to set this up, and I'll do, I'll do a little video when I get done. So this is a little project I want to do, I'm excited about doing. So. Um, aside from its original intention, which, so as I mentioned, the travel kit comes with this booklet. And this booklet is different than our Simple Dory or our standard booklet in that it's designed as um, to be used as a travel journal. So on the front here, you could put where you're going. You could put a little note um, wherever you're traveling to. So you've got a little world map there. You've got your packing list the itinerary, places you want to visit. So this is all that prelim stuff that you do, but it's always fun to have a record of that, right? And then let the journey begin. Then we go into our daily section. So wherever you go each day, you can date, you can journal, you can add ephemera, you can add photographs, whatever you want to do. So that's the, the original intention. Okay, which is what I'll be using this for. We are going to the beach this um, summer. We are going to Vegas this summer. So I'll definitely be using that for this. But I love this theme so much and I wanna, I wanna find more ways to use it. So I'm gonna use my um, standard booklet. So this is just the standard booklet. 
We are sold out of these as well. However, there is a Weeks. I believe we still have Weeks size. We have personal size. There's B6. Um, so you could do the same idea that I'm going to explain in those um, in those size booklets as well. Um, there's a, I, I think A5 is gone as well. But what I want to do is, so if you know me, I can't sit still. I can't just, but I love to be outdoors in the summer by the pool, enjoying the backyard, or if we're at the beach, but I can't just sit. Yeah, I can have a book, I can read, I, I love to do that, but I love to try and use that time to decompress and actually have a moment to think creatively. Um, it's hard when your business is your passion because you get immersed in all the minutia of running the business and the passionate part of you, sadly, a lot of times gets pushed away. So the, I'd like to be able to focus on the creativity a little bit. That's what I'd like to use that time for. So here's my thoughts. So I'm going to try and do. We'll see how it works out. I'm going to create a creative journal. And I have an idea on what I want to do for each section or for each page that I want to try and make like a daily thing that I do, a daily creative something in my journal. And so I'm going to have fun. I'm going to set this up. I'm going to show you some fun ways that I'm going to layer. Um, I'm going to show you some fun ways on how to use this awesome vellum paper. We love this. So I'm going to have fun with that and I'm going to, I'm going to work on that and I'm going to set that up and I'll have a little video and I'll show you what I end up doing with it. But it's going to be a fun way to journal and just be creative and use that as an outlet. And I'm going to use this cover for that as well. So I've got it for, I can use this, um, this TN cover for my travel booklets, but I can also use it for my little creative endeavors. So um, this will tuck in my beach bag, my little tote bag for by the pool, super easy. I'm excited about that. And of course, I'll probably decorate it up a little bit and everything, but I will show you. So that's my idea, that's my thought. I haven't done it yet, but I'm gonna get busy on it. I have, um, I, ha I kind of have it mapped out. I wrote out a little map of what I want to do. So map, ha, huh? funny, right? So <laughs> I'm going to do that and I will share that with you. So that is a look at my setup for June using the fabulous Wander collection. Um, so if you missed out or if you are going to go travel, I highly encourage you to grab one of the travel kits before they're gone. Um, we don't have plans of restocking this, so get it before it goes. I do think, um, for those of you that have purchased this and have purchased the cover, we will probably, it's going to be a little bit, um, but I'll probably restock the booklet just so that we kind of have those on hand along with, um, along with the cover. But the actual kit itself, um, I don't see that being restocked. So grab those, like I said, there is literally just a handful of them left. Um, like, subscribe, share, please do that. Uh, comment below, let me know where you're traveling or how you're using the kit. If there's anything special you would like me to show you in, um, in these videos going forward, put it down there, I would love to read it. And uh, yeah, so have fun with this. Have a wonderful, wonderful summer. And um, I will talk to you soon.